we present a robotic atal hernia repair with use of biologic mesh and a toupee fundification. The patient was noted to have a hadal hernia that contained the upper one-third of the stomach. We proceed by opening up the hernia sac and we start from the left side and proceed circumferentially towards the right uh, crura. And can see the attenuated phrenoesophageal ligament. Dissection continues in the posterior mediastinum. The gastrohepatic ligament is opened and we proceed to identify the important structures such as a caudate lobe the inferior vena cava and the right crura. Dissection continues along the right crus to get into a plane between the right crura and the contents of the hernia sac. This dissection allows for better visualization of the structures in the posterior mediastinum on the right side, with the goal being of identifying the right and the left crura coming together at the base. The attachments have to be mobilized and freed up circumferentially and completely in order to allow for complete reduction of the structures that are herniated and to minimize the risk of recurrence of the hiatal hernia. At this point, we concentrate on mobilizing and freeing up the attachments to the left cruise. One must take great care for dissection in this region because the short gastric vessels can be attenuated. Once again, one can see the frenzophageal ligament and hernia sac being attenuated. Attachments to the left crew are completely mobilized and freed up, and this will allow one to make the retroesophageal window opening more easily. The instrument has progressed from the retroesophageal window, it can be seen coming out at the left upper side, where penrose train is introduced, and this will allow us to retract the esophagus successfully. Dissection continues to enlarge the retroesophageal window. We now proceed in closing the posterior crural defect. It should be noted that great care is taken in order to preserve the peritoneum overlying both of the crura, for this will provide for much better repair.
multiple figure of eight sutures are placed utilizing the zero ether bond. It is important to pay attention so that the esophagus is not impinged and usually one leaves space that's not for a five millimeter instrument to fit next to the esophagus in order to reduce the chance of dysphagia postoperatively. Sometimes one also needs to put anterior stitches for an anterior chloroplasty. The hernia sac is uh, mobilized and freed up completely such that it doesn't interfere with the fundoplication. A decision was made to utilize a biological mesh. The mesh is introduced and placed as a reverse letter C and does not place circumferentially around the defect. Please note that U stitches are utilized in order to secure the mesh to the underlying structures. A suture is placed on the most prominent portion of the freed up cardia, and this will allow for bringing the portion of cardia in a retrosophageal manner in order to perform the fund application. Even though great care was taken to completely mobilize the cardia and to take the short gastrics down, it was felt that doing a complete wrap would provide too much tension and possibly cause dysphagia postoperatively, and therefore decision was made to perform a posterior toupee fund application. Multiple sutures of esophagus to a portion of the cardia are placed in order to perform the 180 degree wrap. The penrose drain is removed and the hernia closure is going to be reinspected. The mesh is tucked away in the proper position. Thank you for your attention.